Do I love Adam more than the other children? <sighs> Josh's t-shirt. I've had it for a while. Oh, it is Saturday everybody and hello and welcome back to our channel. Um, and today's video has not gone as planned because today has not gone as planned. Can you come here? Come and explain what's going on. Here he is. Here's the main man. Yeah. The main man himself. Um, so today has not gone to plan. We were actually supposed to be going where? To... Uh, it was, it was go to go ape. Go ape, which was something that had been booked last year. We were supposed to go a month ago, and I'd hurt my neck, so we had to postpone it. And then now today, we've had to postpone it again. Why? Because it was raining. Thunderstorms. The weather is awful, and so they said that we may not be able to do it, so we postponed it again. Um, but then now we've got nothing really to do today, have we? So then we plan to go on a little walk with Grandad and to, to try to hopefully avoid thunderstorms. Obviously, walking is not quite... You can walk in the rain if you have to. Um, but then it really is raining right now. So we're waiting to see if it eases off. But yeah, today's not going to plan. But then I wanted to discuss with you to see what we could do today instead. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, because it has to be things that are indoors. Yeah, so at home. I did think you'd let me know if you think this is a good plan. We could do some baking. Maybe bake a cake. For bake a cake? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to find a good a good recipe, go to the supermarket and buy the ingredients. Yeah. Bake a cake? That sounds like a good plan? Yeah. I think that's a good plan. I know. Let's make a cake and like after that we could like Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> And like watch a movie. Uh, yeah, I think that sounds good. And then after that, we can like make a drink with it, like to make it nice and. What drink do you want? I just like a cup of tea personally. Tea and mean, cake. So I uh, so that would be our plan today. But can we do the walk? Um, hopefully we'll still do a walk with Granddad if the rain stops. Yeah. And because it's summer, I had to put away all our, you know, proper waterproofs and everything. Uh, I honestly might as well dig it all back out. It's probably on its way back to winter again already. Yeah! No, that's not a good thing. No, that's a bit boo. Boo. What? Boo. British summer sucks. <laughs> Ew, boo. British summer sucks. Anyway, let's find a cake to bake. We'll have to find a nice vegan recipe, won't we? Yeah! Let's go! Um, it's not baked a vegan cake. Oh, I have. Have I? Mm, I've done like packet cakes before. Go! Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah! I'm not really lemon. I like lemon cake. Mmm, okay. Do you like lemon cake? Yeah. It's a number. Feeling like a number one. Oh, mummy! Oh, my God. That's too big. We can't do that. That's no. a proper, proper huge birthday cake. Yeah. Lemon cake's probably your favourite and my favourite. We're just choosing that my cake. We're choosing the lemon cake. Yeah? Yeah, I'll choose it. Lemon cake it is! Lemon cake it is! It stopped raining, so we're going quickly, aren't we? Yes, sir. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Adam got this gun at the school fete yesterday. Where he also had his first ever pony ride, didn't you? Yeah. Honestly, an incredible school fate. I've never been to anything like it. There was so much going on there. Fairground rides, burger vans. There was a bar. There was a proper bar, like a actual bar stool, not even just like a table with things. Proper. It was good. Was right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go walk.
kid never fails to make me laugh. So we, I just held his hand and he said, hello, sweet pea. <laughs> never heard him say that before. So sweet pea. And we just had to look it through an abandoned cottage, didn't we? It was ugly. It, I, bet it was, I bet it used to be beautiful, but it's just in absolute state of disrepair. Ooh, I wish I could live in that house. You want to live in that house like that? Yeah. All right, we'll move your stuff in today. Come on then. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Three The oven done. I've done that in a food mixer or a large bowl. Put that down. Beat together the margarine and the sugar. So we need to measure the margarine. So that's this one. It's gonna say one five zero. You're gonna need a lot more than that. Right. So then that margarine, Adam, yeah. needs to go in the food processor. So we just put it in there, but then we don't do anything with it yet. Yeah. 225 grams of cost sugar. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. What? Neil, stop eating everything. We've got to add yogurt and the zest of two lemons. So we need to grate a couple of lemons first. Yeah. Hang on. So that'll be sharp. So if you get your finger, that will really hurt. But you're getting this. We're trying to get the... We want all this yellow bit off it, you see? Yeah? Let me try. Mummy's not very good at it, actually. Come on. Yes, it, yeah! oh Terrible angle. It's my chin. <laughs> Get it further away. I'm trying to. I'm trying to zest the lemons. It was um. You weren't quite managing that one, were you? Nope. Right, so I need to put the yogurt into there, and then we've got to measure some more bits out. Try not to get it on the top bit, yep. Fabulous. I feel like I'm doing most of the work here. I don't know why it feels like that. Um, flour, we need 250. Hang on. is coated in it. Fine there are flour. Uh, everybody on YouTube! Obviously not talking to you because someone's ditched me. Oh I'm covered in flour. Mummy's worse than a child. Covered. Covered. Corn flour. Two tablespoons. Alright. Flour and flour, now it's bicarb and ground almonds, and that's the main bit of it. 
how much bicarb. Half a teaspoon. Adam, don't do this. Easy peasy. Come on. And almond, 50 grams. Adam, yeah. gonna come and do half, half a teaspoon of this and put it in there. No? No, thank you. So, have you given up baking now? No. Oh, what the God. Guaranteed he'll want to do this bit. Adam, do you want to come put the food processor on? What? Do you want to come put the machine on? I thought you might want to come put that bit. Go on then. Good job. Cakes out the oven, or just do it in separate, no, like one separate holes, like, yeah, like two. This is the next step, I've never done this before, but it says to poke loads of holes. Yeah, good job. We're gonna watch a movie now. We are, so the cake has come out of the oven, hasn't it? Yes. And what's happening to the cake at the moment? We're waiting for it to... Get cold. Yeah, cool down so we can finish that. Yeah. And so we've come upstairs to do pretty much my favorite thing to do with you, <laughs> or one of our favorite things to do together, which oh, is... Watch a movie in bed. With... Snuggers. And... Pizza. pizza! So it's pizza, movie, bed, snuggles. Know, so hurry up and eat your pizza because I, I want to quickly get to the snuggles part of this. Okay. <laughs> so we're watching The Impossible because I know it's a little bit, maybe the age is a little bit old for Adam, but. He has been obsessed with tsunamis and he has watched quite a lot of the clips before. And I've just got a bit emotional, as I always do, because obviously it's a true story. And, like, I just, I feel so much. I like, I'm trying to imagine being that mum and it's there and there's, like, nothing you can do to help your children. Like, there's just nothing. The, the kids, you know, a few metres away, there's nothing you can do. And so I'm here crying, <laughs> imagining how I would feel if that was me and Adam. And what did you do when I explained that to you? What? He pretended to yawn and they're getting emotional thinking what oh, if I was in that situation with you and a tsunami was coming and you find it boring? Yeah. Boring I found him. it cool. Anyway. Lacking. Messy. Should we keep watching it? Mummy's being a total baby right now. <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's just not oh, bad no. smart. Well, it's okay. How is it Adam? Are you enjoying it? And what about Nanny and Grandad? No, it's very nice, actually. Very nice. Well done, Chef. So it is ridiculously early in the morning. Um, but my brother and Molly have been at a festival and I promised them a favour and said I'd pick them up. Um, I'm actually running a little bit late and supposed to be there at half past two. Um, so yes, I'm driving now to fetch them. <laughs> Morning, darling. Morning, mommy. I'm just doing some colouring. You're doing some absolutely beautiful colouring. Let's see. Move your hand out of the way, Zach. Move your hand out of the way. Look at that beautiful. Uh, Mummy's quite sleepy. Ooh, I'm wobbling about. Oh, I love you. I love you, mommy, because you're my hero. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. I can't say that in front of everyone, it embarrassed me. I'm embarrassing you, sorry. 
Ta-da, this is my creature. This is beautiful. Are you going to colour the rest of it as well? Yeah. No, no, no. 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 That was a bad one, Grandad. Let's do it again, because that was bad. So Adam is still finding reading and writing a little bit tricky, aren't you? And so his teacher set some targets for him and now we're trying to work on them at home. And we made a deal, as you can see, he's not very happy about the deal today. I think that's because he's not very poor, he's a little bit poorly. We made a deal that every week he'd have 10 words and he'd have to try and learn how to read and write those 10 words all week. And on a Sunday, we'll see how well he does. So 10 words to read and the same words to write. That's and, easy! And if he can get 15 out of 20, then the treat that we agreed on at the beginning of the McDonald's. week, he can get on the Sunday. If he can get at least 15 out of 20. And this week he asked for a McDonald's, didn't you? So let's sit up. We're going to do reading the words. We've started with quite simple ones. Reading the words. Okay. And then in five minutes we'll try writing them. Sound okay, good? Do you yes. think you're going to school enough? Yes. All right. Right, we've got eight out of ten on the reading. So now you need to get at least seven out of ten for your writing. That's it, he's doing the spellings now. Do you think you're going to manage to get at least seven? Earlier in the week he was getting ten out of ten, but like I said, he's a little bit poorly today, so his focus is not quite as good. But do you think you can get at least seven? Yes. You've got eight out of ten, that means you've just about got enough. So you can have your McDonald's. But we need to work harder, don't we? To make sure we get 10 out of 10 in all of them next time. What do you think? Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yes! I got them! I got 10 out of 8! No, 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 you got 8 out of 10. Um, and then we need to decide on next week's treat. <laughs> you happy? No, I'm just... <laughs> Hi guys, so as you probably know, we recently asked for anonymous suggestions and questions and we are going to do our best to try to get through as many of them as possible. The plan is to sort of try to answer the questions like within our vlogs and the one I wanted to address today is this one. Do I love Adam more than the other children? <sighs> what I'm not going to do is just say Oh, I love everyone equally. It's all exactly the same. My relationship with each of them is the same because that is not the case. And I also think that that is actually not the case in many families. You have a different relationship with each of your children. Um, so where I don't love Adam more, that is not the case. I do have a different bond with him than I have with the other children. And my bond with each of them is different too. This person clearly got it because you need to remember that Adam has been in my life since he was five days old and that that has been almost nine years now that he has been a part of my life. Um, I moved out to Uganda to adopt him. He was living with me for many years before the others joined our family. And so when the others joined, they were a lot older. George was four, Tally was two, I think, and James was one, so they were older. And I've spent an awful lot less time with them. I only spent a year I believe with James it might have even been less than that I've only spent a year of my life with James and um, a bit longer with the other two and obviously now I've been here for two and a half years with Adam so I know Adam a lot better I know everything about him I've spent a lot more time with him I don't love him more it's just a different relationship um, and same with the children out there I have a different relationship with George than I do with James and it's not about loving one more than the other I love them all so much I just have a different relationship with each of them me and Tally are very close she's obviously the only girl um, and 
not that I find one harder to be away from than the other necessarily, but I know that I think she struggles the most with me being away. So that also, you know, has an impact. So the answer to your question is no, I don't love Adam more, but I do have a different bond and relationship with each of my children, which I think is something people should be honest about anyway, because, you know, each of them have different personalities and yeah, which is different. And then you've got this one, which is asking, do I miss them? And obviously if you watched my previous video, you would have seen that I got very upset over the suggestion that I don't. And why am I only posting about Adam? Well, back to what I said before, I have known Adam since he was five days old. That means I have coming up to nine years worth of photos, footage, video, you know, everything with Adam. Um, and like I said, I've only spent a year of my life with James and that was in lockdown anyway, where we did very little. I just don't have as much. So when I'm looking back, you know, I have so much to look back on with Adam because, you know, when I met him, when we were at the orphanage and all this, and I just don't have as much with the others. And also he is here with me now, so I can film things with him now. I cannot film anything with the others now. That relies on Josh. Josh struggles to have the time to fit it all in and then also get it all to me. So obviously if they were all here together and I had everyone here, it probably wouldn't be all Adam. It would be quite equal, which I believe it was when I was out in Uganda anyway. Um, but yes, it does not in any way mean I don't miss those other kids. I miss them so much. I find it so hard to edit videos with them in. I am, I just get so upset doing so. I miss them so much doing so. So actually putting up videos with them is also really difficult. Um, but I also just, I guess I don't share with you all how much I really do miss them and how it is part of me each and every day. Like everything I do with Adam. Um, we were at the school fete on Friday and I was there and I'm, I just imagine them being there too. And I think of what they'd be doing and I wish they were there. I could be on a walk with him. I went on a walk, went on a walk with my dad and Adam yesterday and I just imagine them being there too. Everything we do, I'm gonna try not to get upset. Ah. Uh, I try so hard to enjoy and be in the moment with Adam, but actually I also find it really hard because I never fully enjoy it because I just wish they were there too. And that can be as simple as sitting down and snuggling and watching a movie. I either sit there and I think, oh, how would we all fit on this bed snuggling to watch this? There is essentially always a huge gaping hole that they, where they should be and they are not. And I miss them every day. But I'm not going to keep going on about it because then I just get upset. The best thing to do is just get on, distract and just work towards reuniting our family. It has been how long now? A year? It's 9th of July so over 14 months now since I have seen the kids and Josh as well obviously. Um, we were really really hoping to go out for summer um, but financially it's just not feasible. Which brings me to just bringing up the fundraiser that Molly made, the GoFundMe page. Now, again, when we got all the anonymous submissions, I got this comment, which I totally understand. And this is also why I didn't want to try and fundraise anymore, really, because I also find it difficult always asking, um, especially when it's kind of for me. I am proud of the fact that I have this platform and when we need to raise the money for the charity that I can put it out on here because I absolutely understand there is a cost of living crisis here and times are tough but if you've been out and seen the suffering in Uganda it is you know those kids you can't, it's just a whole other level and those kids didn't choose to be born there it's just where they were born you know I've got kids like Dan who no fault of his own is sick and living in a country where it's very hard to stay well and I will probably never stop using this platform to um you know look for support there because there are kind hearted people out there who also have the ability to donate I am totally aware some people would love to and can't but of course I've got to use this platform to try to help the people who need it most so but anyway off topic I have been reluctant to share it for me but we had so many comments um 
from people saying, please do one, we want to donate. And Molly was like, you've got to do one, you've got to do one, and she set one up for me. Um, we haven't obviously raised enough to go out there, but if anyone does feel like donating so that um, Adam and I can go and visit the others this year, um, or we'll leave the, um, the link in the description box. But yes, I absolutely understand times are tough, um, but there are people out there who want to support and help, um, so it would be silly, I guess, not to put it out there but um totally understand and so grateful for those of you who have donated it's i really really am because yeah you are helping us be that much closer to being able to see everyone because i do miss them so much and yeah and adam does too he needs to see his his dad and his siblings anyway the battery has started flashing so i will stop talking now and i will end this video here i just want to say thank you for watching um yeah and we'll see you again in the next video Bye guys!